We're gonna be doing some custom levels today. We're gonna search up Aliens Rock to see if how many more levels have showed up that include my username in the title or description. Oh, 22 pages. Yeah, it just keeps going up. I mean, I'm glad you guys are making levels for me. It's just, I'm gonna be extra picky due to this. The car wash. A lot of people seem to enjoy this one. I'll give it a shot. So it's a big, what, what, okay. <laughs> uh, there's a lot that's going on. So it seems that both cars got a, you get stopped here, get lowered to the wash. So it's got to, oh, it's got to barely clip the star without drowning. Hence the name wash. So oddly precise and then come up and then drive. So the idea is that one hydraulic phase will bring it down to here and then one will bring it back up and then they'll move again. And then the same thing will happen. One hydraulic phase down, one hydraulic phase up. Yeah, let me just see if once the car hits there. Yeah, this holds quite nicely. So now just one hydraulic has got to bring this all the way down here. One hydraulic phase. Any amount of hydraulics, there's no hydraulic limit. And it's got to bring it exactly down, barely below the water. Straight up, straight down. Not what you want to do in Kerbal, but I guess uh, it's what you want in Bridge Game. Just attach a bungee cord. Well, fucker's got to come up too. So this one challenge level where I had the um, 10 roads, I had to push something down. This is just gonna be a bigger version of that. I had to push the roads down so the car below could drive. So there's gonna have to be like three hydraulics all expanding. So that's pretty, uh, pretty weak right now. I can fix that. Well, steel exists for a reason. It's not like this weighs that much. Okay, so it looks like it collapses the second it detaches. So let's try to strengthen this and then also this, since we're doing full steel. I wonder if these should be maybe connected to the edges instead of this box. Uh, yeah, I do, I do think this can work if I just kind of smooth it out. I think, it, I think I'm going to attach them to the edges though instead of this box. So what I'm going to have to do is get rid of these hydraulics temporarily so I can adjust this more. From here to here, that's 8.31, and from here to here, oh, that's pretty close. If this fails, maybe what I'll do is I'll just have a freestanding tower that's only attached to these joints, and not even focus on the rest of the bridge. But already our stress is way better. Yeah, that's the concept. There we go. It's not going to make it as far, but see, it even comes back up. Does it connect too? Okay, the, the bastard doesn't... <laughs> okay, there is no reason for that to be happening. But you know what? That's pretty close. That's, that's, that's a good concept. Maybe I'll just make them all reinforced. And then I will adjust this point. Closer! It's interesting that it falls to the left. Oh, but do connect at least. So because it connects, it doesn't break. But that's still not far enough. Okay, keep adjusting it. It's closer! It is kind of bothering me though that it's going down and tilting that way. Like it's gonna be harder to touch this star. I kind of wish the star was just barely poking out of the water because there's an addition, well, I guess we just have to be extra precise, which is fine. It's just, you know, the tweaking is gonna be a bitch. All right, lower and to the left if we want to make it go longer. Come on. No! I think it even went in the water! Well, lower and to the left again. No! Wait, we failed! It went low enough to fail, but not low, low enough to touch the star. Watch, watch that again, watch that. You also could see by, based off the splash. It failed, but... Okay. No shit, the car isn't centered. But I can't do anything about it because this is symmetrical. Literal symmetry. And it falls, like, to the side. Well, here's what I'll try to do then. I'll try to offset the balance. I'll do asymmetry to try to balance it. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Still a fail though. Come on. Wait, are we getting the star? I just realized that might be the effect for us getting the star. I think we actually hit the star, but also failed. Yep, that's the star. Add more, wait. 
Alright, this looks balanced. Ah, oh, splashed again. Let's just keep contracting lefts. The weight of the car is not uniform. Heavier in the back than the front would make a lot of sense. Oh, that was so close. Let me look at it real closely. Like, super closely. Oh, you can see the star peeking through. Yeah, we need to go more to the right. Wait, do we have the splash? Oh, shit, we got the star. And it connects, even. Wow, that, okay, that's that. Well, let's see how the second car behaves. Do you think this asshole's gonna stop at a different spot on the thing? If it does, I'm quitting. Oh, pfft. <laughs> Fuck off. Well, now it's not gonna work, is it? Oh, wait, okay, that's really good. And it connects better while braking less? Seriously, how the hell does the car fall through the road at times? Didn't do it this time, but what the hell was that? Yes! Holy shit, there's not much variance. A lot of tweaking, but by God, at least it's consistent. Cool. Solid level? I give it a 7.5 out of 10. It was pretty good. I'm glad we got it done. Let's look at some of the funny contraptions they did. Alright, same concept. This looks pretty cool. It's just heavily over- It's the whole bridge! <laughs> Shame about the budget. I don't think I would have done this because of that, but it's the whole bridge! That looks fun. Oh, it doesn't reattach. Wait, did it, maybe it wasn't attached in the first place? Oh, it actually drives off this road onto the other one, which is flat. This one's diagonal, the other one's flat. I can't tell what's going on here. Oh, this is cool. Ah, oh, this is really interesting. So this is contracting and this is expanding. With a rope. This one's really smart. And optimized, too. A lot of cool and unique solutions. A big expensive one. Oh, God. There's a lot going on here. I like that everyone has their own solution, though. Next. Tank. Can a moped withstand the force of a tank? Oh, this is like Tiananmen Square. What is it, 1989? It's Tank Man. Oh, it's an autoplay. All right, time for some accuracy historic depictions. Oh, wait, that's not a cannon. That's just a tank. Oh, he's just getting pushed. I don't know what- I expected him to get yeeted, but I guess this is probably more historically accurate. The Chinese did not have springs in their tanks. Dude, he's still giving his own though. The tank's only pushing forward a bit. He's still upright. Actually, how the hell is this thing moving? I mean, the ground seems pretty flat to me, just like the earth. It still is- what? Wait, how did he generate motion? I, I was too busy focusing on the fact that this is a tank man, and I just didn't realize that this thing- how is this moving? All your Chinese viewers just lost connection? <laughs> Sucks to suck. Is it because the springs are stretched? So the springs are the motor. Okay, I don't know what he harnessed to make this happen, but this is really cool, and I hope that this gets fleshed out more. Whatever you did, share it with people so we can have more moving vehicles like this. That's kind of cool. Four meter simple bridge. There is totally nothing wrong with this bridge. That is one fat biker. There is no reason that this moped should be able to handle him. So this is like the tank level, however, or not the tank, the tanker truck level. Except the difference here is that all this mass is all concentrated in a tiny fat moped. This this guy eats black holes for dinner. I don't I don't know how you can get this dense. So it's way more concentrated, which means it's gonna be a lot harder to support. This should be a really interesting challenge, huh? Let's try to build this up. So the old design was a uh, cable, cable, and then three mu uh, muscles. So this is what worked against the tanker truck. Let's see how this holds. It's not even close. Here's a new idea. We're going to, instead, bring a steel top like this and a cable to the middle. We're gonna have more support go towards the middle so that these get less stressed on the sides. 
Whoa, the steel on top is a taking some now. So let's bring this higher so it's stronger. Now it's worse. Double cable. I can do that here because there's no wall in the way to fuck with the length of the second cable. So now I can have two cables working together as one. Okay, damn, I gotta make this real tall. If everything's collapsing with these steel, that's a better sign because I can muscle these up. But I will go for max height first. That was our best one yet. That was a cable snap. Let's do more cabling. Something like this, just something nice and high. Oh, that was even closer. Again, the, the steel goes down. Wow, that was so close. Can I get a good muscle here then? <gasps> yes! The muscles got it done at half budget two. That hit 97.6% stress. Let's take a look at what other people did. How cheap could people get it? 14,000. Are these, this is a weird combination. I think these are steels going to the middle and then ropes going to them. Wow, this is impressive. I don't even know how this is supposed to work. Oh, it's just the tension design. Oh, duh. It's just the tension bridge, but there's like seven layered on top of each other. And that's what's happening here. This is, well, this just looks cool. And I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it looks pretty sick. Let's see if I can shave a little bit. Like, do we need much on the bottom? Maybe a, just the single steel? All right, we could get rid of that muscle. Oh, that's even less stress too. What about these then? Maybe these could just be triangles or just straight steels. Oh, I thought that was it for sure. Do I need these? Oh, big cables gone. That's nice. Why is the scooter so heavy? He's American. I know I can do this for sure. And then I'm going to try raising these up. Another thousand off. If it works. Oh, I thought it made it halfway. Let's do this then. Lowering this midpoint makes it better. Oh, wait. It makes it even less stress. 90% stress. Let's lower this some more. Nice! Under 25,000. Getting there in cost. I want to get rid of that muscle so badly. And the day has come. 22,500. What budget am I targeting? I mean, below 20,000. Can I do this? Just above 20k. Just above 20k! Let's save our money and go home. Under 20,000. Not the cheapest, but near the cheapest. This is an interesting one to optimize. Very fun. Let's see if there's other fun stuff like that. Uh, Tiny Gaps is the first one. Made for Aliens Rock. Let's check it out. So we have to get in here. While all these go, everything goes at once. This is just the normal bridge, except we have to somehow get in here while dodging these little gaps. Interesting. So Steel Arch is going to be here. The good spot for a Steel Arch. And we're going to do roads through here, and then I'm going to do some revisions. Oh. There's like a 50-50 chance that this hits the plane or not. It may involve some tweaking, I'm not sure. But what I was thinking was doing something like this and then deleting the wood. As long as this doesn't happen to clip the planes, this will work. I drew this steel arch, I don't even like it anymore. It's it's gonna maybe be something like... This is the main idea. For the record, it's not gonna hold by itself. And also these things, they're kind of swings. All right, it stands up for longer. It looks like, it looks like we do dodge the things. That's what I was worried about. All right, so it gets on there. It's just now it's, well, it has a weight problem. So I'm gonna try to arch this better by having this go up and having this go up as well. Yeah, this middle's still a bit a weak, but this is our best one yet. It gets to the very center. And it comes down to either a muscle or raise this. I'm going to try raising this first. We're going to avoid the muscle for now. It's just a shame this doesn't reach. So we would have to do steel here. And let's just see if this structure works before moving on to shaving money. Nice. No over under, just under supports. Very good. That's, that should not be too bad to save. Let me watch the steel in the middle on top because that's the first thing I had in mind. 
Stuff in the very middle doesn't get that yellow, and stuff on the right side doesn't either. Alright, so we can get rid of some steel, but not all of it. Maybe we can even get more, rid of more on this side. Let's try exactly this much so it's uh, symmetrical. Nice, very good. Next, can I lower this? Ooh, that might hit. Because what I was planning on doing was just making these wood. I'm going to try it in hopes that maybe the hitbox is not accurate. Oh, doesn't look accurate. All right, we're 772 away. Just a couple more wood pieces and it's done. I could just do like wood in here and just have stabilizers up the ass. Well, that's not terrible. That's already under budget, but I'll just do it on both sides. Cool. Oh, did not expect. Also, didn't expect it to keep working after the break. Well, it's under budget. Let's uh, patch this up then. This, and then what? Are you telling me this is useless too? Very cool. 48,000. This is just a good level. This is, this is clean. This is unique. Interesting. There's probably a few ways to do it. Although, if this was an actual level in the game, top 1% would be all spring cannons. I do think this level is best if springs are banned. That is my only criticism. And besides that, it's a good level.